Hello guys, welcome again in the Machine Tool Workshop. We are going to talk about perform, perform of filing. As we have seen in the previous video, we are seeing that file is a, a cutting tool. We are going to see the different parts of a file. We are going to see the specification of a file. We, we will see the, its shape and the, we are see the, the operation which can be performed by fire. So let's start for uh, the main part of a fire. On the fire has different parts. We have a handle. The handle is from here until here. We have also heels. Heels is on this part. We have also edge. Edge is on this side. We have also tip or point is on this side. On the also, we have the, the, the length of fire. The length of fire is measured from here until here. We are going to see the specification of fire. The fire are specified according to their length, to their shape, to their teeth pattern, or to their grades. When you talk about the grade, the fire has different grades. We have what the, the first one grade, we call it laugh. The laugh has 20 teeth per inch. We have also what we call bastard. Bastard is, has 30 teeth per inch. We have also what we call second cut. Second cut has 40 teeth per inch. We have also smooth fire. Smooth fire has between 50 teeth and 60 teeth per inch. We are, to, we, we are going to see the different shape or form of fire. We have this one. This one is a half round fire. Is a half round fire. It can be used for where you want to make the arc on work piece or where you want to, to enlarge your hole. You can use this half round fire. We have also triangular fire. Triangular fire has a triangular in, in its shape. According to the C on the its point is triangular. We have also round fire. Round fire also is round in shape according to, the, to its point. We have also a square fire. Square fire also is square according to its shape. We have also flat fire. Also, when you see on its, in its point is a flat fire. After seeing its shape, we are going to see how can be perform a firing work. We are going to, to see the use of a fire for uh, three categories. We have a straightforward firing, we have draw firing, we have cross firing. In straightforward firing is in which the fire is pushed straight ahead across the work. Draw firing, a draw firing is, produced, is produced a smooth surface, a flat surface, and the fire is held perpendicular at 90 degrees to the direction of motion. We have also cross firing. A cross firing is cross firing, the fire is held naturally at 45 degrees to the workpiece. We will see how can be perform this operation in practice. We are going to perform a straightforward firing. As you see, the fire is pushed straight ahead, then is crossing his work. We are going to see also draw firing. The draw firing produces a smooth surface on the top and is make 90 degree to the direction of motion. Advantage of this draw firing is that the fire can be held steadily. We are going to see also how to perform a cross firing. 
A close firing, as we have seen, is the, the firing held naturally at about 45 angle. We are continuing for making a cross firing. As you see, he make a first cross, then he's, he make an other direction. That is cross firing. According to the teeth of uh, direction of teeth of fire, if you see, its teeth are crossed. That is, that is the shape of uh, cross firing operation. The surface which can be performed cross firing direction is look like this. he must be stand on this direction. After firing our work, we may get to the surface like this. This is our drift key. This drift key can help us for removing the, the, the sleeve or the chuck in the drilling machine spindle. We will see how to use it when we are going to, to operate drilling operation. For this topic of today, we are talking about on firing on the next video, we are going to see how can measuring tool used.